Police investigating a deadly shooting in Chula Vista. Fox Wise Elizabeth Alvarez joins us live with the latest on this situation. Liz, good morning. Good morning. The latest is that there is still no suspect in custody right now. Police have been focused on a home that is here on D Street. We're inside the Brentwood Mobile Home Park and police have their mobile crime scene lab out here as well as detectives. They've been out here since overnight. In fact, we do have some video from overnight when the SWAT team arrived. Police were in tactical gear at one point and initially even had had their weapons drawn. Uh, police say a shooting that turned deadly happened in this mobile home park on another street. But since then, there's been no word on any suspect. Uh, there were two people who were actually discovered shot yesterday. They were found about a mile and a half from here, or about a half a mile, I should say. Uh, they were actually discovered in a Jeep after the occupants of that Jeep flagged them down, flagged officers down. That happened at the intersection of uh, Palomar and Broadway. Back out here live, uh, we have Sergeant Anthony Molina with the Chula Vista Police Department who has been out here. He's here to give us a, a quick update on the situation. Sergeant Molina, uh, what can you tell us? What's going on with the uh, suspect at this point? So right now, and what, what a lot of the residents saw out here this morning, is we had a particular residence that we believed had some sort of involvement in the incident that occurred yesterday. So while we're not releasing any suspect information at this time, because it's part of all the information that we're gathering, we do have a lot of work here to do right now, especially after everything that occurred last night. Now, a lot of people say, hey, you know, we're several hours into this, and I think we all know we try to do things as safe as possible now. That's why there was such a heavy police presence. We're talking about an incident where we do know guns were involved mm -hmm. and people were shot, unfortunately. So we have to take every measure not only to protect our officers, but also, you know, the occupants we're going to contact because there's a lot we don't know when that's happening. Mm -hmm. So that's the part that just now got resolved. We're really at the beginning stages of the actual investigation into what involvement actually took place here. And as far as the SWAT team having been here for part of the night into the morning hours, what, if anything, were they, did they find at the home? Was there anyone inside? What happened initially when they got here? So I don't know the exact number of people that were in the home, but what I can tell you is that several occupants did come out. And again, this was all done very methodical for safety purposes. We do what we call surround and call out with the right elements in place to address anything that could happen. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the timing was just taking time to set up and then call people out. And everybody did come out. Mm -hmm. There's an initial search that was done by our tactical teams just to be able to tell our officers and investigators that the area is safe to now enter. And now we're moving into that phase. So there's still a lot to be seen and figured out. Uh, we're just asking for anybody with information to come forward with that. We, you know, there's a lot of people who live here, probably a lot more cameras, things that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. So we're just asking people to come forward because that's where we're at now. Inform, uh, information gathering sure. and really determining what took place. All right, Sergeant Molina, thank you so much. Uh, still very limited information as the sergeant just explained, but uh, no suspect in custody. And again, uh, what is happening here inside this uh, Brentwood Mobile Home Park is connected in some way uh, with the deadly shooting that occurred yesterday. As far as those two victims uh, that were found in that Jeep, uh, not too far from here, uh, the passenger uh, did succumb to his injuries. The driver uh, was indeed wounded, but still very early on in this investigation. We'll keep you updated as we learn more, but the suspect still remains at large. We're live this morning in Chula Vista. We'll send things back to you for now. Liz, thank you for that update.